The first step is to check that the wooden box is in the right conditions. If you notice any damage, holes or broken parts on the wooden box surface, please take pictures and let your agent sales know about this. This means that the box had lousy management and inadequate care when the transportation between our factory and your working place. If the box is in the right conditions, please proceed with the following steps. Once your wooden box is open, you will see the warranty, documents and following installation instructions. Once you take out all the foam and accessories, ask someone else for help and then take out the machine. If you don't have anyone to help you around, then take the machine out in the next order. First, you take out the main box taking care of not pulling the fiber laser cable. Once you have out the main box, you can proceed to take out the working table. It is crucial to take care of the fiber laser cable. It can be straightforward to break the laser cable if you pull it, if someone steps over it or presses against it. Once the laser machine is out of the box, proceed to place it in a stable working table and unwrap all the plastic cover. After unwrap all the plastic, we will see three main cables around the stepper motor of the tower. These cables are marked with different numbers of each other, and we are going to connect them in the same socket number. Beside the tower of the laser, we are going to see a small screw. This screw is for the base holder of the sensor controller. We take it out and then mount the base holder. The sensor controller plug also has a number and we are going to connect the same plug number with the same socket number. After we have completed the connections of the main components, we can connect the USB cable. If we have an accessory and we want to use it, we can also connect it. After completing the whole connection, we can plug in the energy cable supplier. Before plugging in the energy cable, you should be sure that your working place energy supplier has the correct ground cable install it. If you are using 220 volts, then the ground cable should be represented as 220 volts. If you are using 110 volts, then the ground cable should be represented as 110 volts. Inside the package, we will find the USB of the software and a set of two keys. For turning on the machine, we will plug in the keys and turn them to the right. Check that the red button or emergency button it is not pressed. If the emergency button is pressed or activated, you have then to turn in to the right. You will see that the red button is going to get out. Once the emergency button is out, you can see that the machine starts to work. Press the green button to active the red laser view. Before you start to work, you need to check if the material sensor quits the working surface. If the material sensor is reading the working area, you will see numbers on the left screen. If the material sensor is not reading the working surface, you will see the sensor like in this video with not numbers showing out in the left screen. If that is the case, then take the sensor controller and press the down button. In a few seconds, you will see the numbers appear on the left screen. 
once you see that the material sensor reaches the working area, you press the button focus. You will see that the laser's whole body and head go down slowly till it reaches the optimal engraving focus for the main working surface. Once the sensor finishes its job, you will hear an alarm or a small beep. This beep or alarm means that the machine is ready to engrave over that surface. Remember to take out the plastic cover protection of the lens. If you don't take it out, it may burn the lens and damage it. Once you take the plastic cover protection out, you will see two red dots over the working area surface. Stand right in front of the machine and at your right you will see the sensor red dot, while at your left you will see the red dot of the lens. Remember, if you don't see the red dot that came out of the lens, you need to press the green button. If you're looking for more information about this technology, I suggest that you visit our webpage at www.archlaser.com. In there you can find all the information about this machine, the advantages and disadvantages, a complete list of materials it can and cannot engrave, the comparison of this technology with other laser technologies like Mopar laser and fiber optic or Q-switch. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and I hope to see you next time.